State Farm getting out of the Golden State, saying it's going to stop accepting homeowners insurance applications in California because of wildfire, wildfire and construction costs there. Uh, but the nation's largest car and home, a property casualty insurer, isn't the only one under pressure. Uh, and as companies hike their premiums to keep up with costs, property managers and developers are facing difficult decisions. Contessa Brewer has a closer look now. It's astronomic and, and not sustainable. Francis Greenberger is really feeling the pressure. The CEO of Time Equities oversees a large portfolio of properties and got sticker shock when the insurance bill came. We just renewed our policy a couple of months ago at a 30 percent increase, 3-0. In Corpus Christi, Texas, insurance premiums tripled for this 800-unit apartment complex that serves as homes for nurses, airport crew, and those who work in the oil industry. That was pushing the premiums north of $2,000 a unit, which is absolutely unsustainable and, um, fr frankly, out of line. Um, and um, and it's created it has created a significant burden for property that you know serves a workforce housing community. Unable to hike the rent that much, the landlord, private equity fund Fundamental Advisors, is left pinching pennies on operating expenses and facing the prospect of bailing on other bills, including their debt. This pricing is killing deals, it's preventing new development, and it's putting some, some companies that I've been talking to lately out of business. Property insurance prices are soaring because natural disasters are more frequent and more severe, and inflation has made repairs and replacement more expensive. Skyrocketing litigation, verdicts, and settlements have driven costs higher, and insurance fraud is pervasive. But Danielle Lombardo, who heads up global real estate for Lockton, says banks and their mortgage requirements are part of the problem. Lender requirements often dictate more insurance than is necessary for extreme events. If lenders were to take a more data-driven approach, we would be in a situation where we could fix part of the supply-demand issue in the market by having our, our clients buy less insurance. If a lender requires coverage that would pay to replace entirely a $40 million property in Texas, the policy would be $3.7 million, Lombardo tells me. If that lender used data that more accurately reflected its real risk, the cost would be a million dollars. If those requirements changed, of course, insurers would be selling cheaper policies. Contessa Brewer, CNBC Business News.